On this episode, I traveled to Little Talbot Island State Park, one of Jacksonville's most pristine beaches. To get here, take 295 to Heckshire Drive and follow ahead until you reach A1A. The park entrance is located on the right following Huguenot Memorial Park. The park is open from 8 a.m. until sunset, 365 days a year. There is a $5 admission fee per vehicle and a $2 admission fee for pedestrians on foot or bike. With more than five miles of beautiful white sandy beaches, Little Talbot Island is one of the few remaining undeveloped barrier islands in Northeast Florida. The beach is absolutely soothing and is a great escape for any weekend. There is camping available across the street, making this a great place to spend overnight as well. Popular park activities include hiking, kayaking, beachcombing, surfing, and picnicking. Beachside picnic pavilions are available for use by park visitors and can be reserved in advance for a fee. Further down the road is Amelia Island State Park and the George Grady Bridge Fishing Pier State Park. There is a beach on the southern point of Amelia Island, which is perfect for fishing. It can also be accessed via vehicle and horseback. The people I met here loved this beach more than anything else and told me how special it was to their lives. We parked on the beach and walked along as locals caught some fish. I ran into a couple on horseback and the rest of the afternoon was absolutely magical. Florida State Park officials who manage these special places are absolute delightful human beings. When you're exploring these areas, be on the lookout for the people who make it all happen and give them a special thank you. Get outside and explore Little Talbot Island and Amelia Island for yourself. And remember to leave no trace. Protect our park system, spread awareness, and never stop exploring. It was a beautiful day out here.